Okay, shalom, shalom. Kom ya shalom. Koholoimla. Yahwa, Bahashim Yahwa Shai. Bahashim Rakahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, yeah, I wanted to play this small video, but it's the news coverage. But they keep showing the um, the actual shooting, and I don't want to, you know, get the video taken down or whatever. But you can look this up, man. This is up close and personal, point blank range with this animal shooting at um, you know what I'm saying? This, this, this you know, just, just, just letting go, man. Just being a complete nigger, looking like a nigger, you know, masculine, you know. But and this is the woman right here. Look, you look, just retarded, bro. So I wanted to do this lesson. Here she go right here to show that, you know, we are the children of Israel. First off, because we are under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. No other people treat their people like this. Don't get me wrong. You got crime amongst all nations. Don't get me wrong. But to the extent that our people treat each other, it, it, no other race does their people like that. Our people have a real cold, calculated a mindset and. You know, um, without natural affection, what the scriptures talks about um, in, in the end days, there will be perilous times. But the love of many is waxing cold because iniquity shall abound. That's what Yahweh Shah spoke of in Matthew 24. So let's get a little bit of the article. I wanted to play the news hookup, but of course, like I said, they keep playing the shooting part. And I know they're going to, the tube going to take it down if I can, you know, play that. But anyway, it says Philadelphia authorities have identified the suspect who was accused of shooting a seven-month-old baby boy on Thursday. Police have arrested Dominique Billups, 28, for allegedly shooting the young child on the 4,000 block of Meriden Street in the city's Holmesburg neighborhood. Disturbing video attained by Action News. And, and, and see, that's the thing, too, with Esau, man. They, 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 see, they get more blatant with... You never used to see stuff like this on the news. It's on the news. You know, motherfuckers blur out a couple of faces and, and act as if that's, you know, um, that's that's... Solving the issue of, of, of how heinous the shit is. You know, they showing you straight up blatant, blatant on TV nowadays where and that's most of these shorts that you see. Now, if I was to post it on my YouTube channel, of course, you know, they, they, they would, um, you know, do a little something about it. But the average person can post this same video and, and won't nothing even get done about it because we, we speak the scriptures. They don't want the Bible to be spoken of on here. Really, that's overall what it is. OK, but it says disturbing video obtained by Action News shows the gunman walking up and opening fire on a baby and his parents outside of a home. In the video, the child's mother can be heard repeatedly yelling my baby after the shots were fired. You knew they had a stroller. What makes you walk up to someone with a stroller and shoot them? Questioned Lieutenant Dennis Rosenberg, uh, Rosenbaum. According to the police, the baby was shot in the leg. By one of the bullets when officers got to the scene however the parents were nowhere to be found the mother and father who had initially gone to the hospital left the location because of fear from police because of the outstanding warrant so you know jake and all of them in, into something somebody into something later officials were able to bring the parents in for questioning and were told about an argument that took place on the 7900 block of frankfurt avenue before the shooting there Police said they were able to get the better visual of their suspect with business surveillance video. According to police, it appears the argument stems from $100 narcotics debt. $100 worth of drugs, man. Yeah, hey, hey, things that damn tight. Hey, things that tight these days, though. Things these days, you know, because these niggas don't. Every single dollar, you know, when it comes to their, you know, um crime and shit man anyway so I, I, I would assume this lady don't have no kids because <laughs> she for damn sure ain't had no remorse there one of the detectives from the different squad had recognized one of the females involved from another shooting where she was the victim in 2022 god damn happened on the 4200 block all right philadelphia police said they received the tip providing the name of the offender who also matched the name of the shooting victim the detectives thought it was Highway Patrol was able to assist police in locating the vehicle also seen on surveillance video, which was known to be used by Billups. 
Police found a vehicle on the 5900 block of Loretto Street where they stopped the female and reportedly learned Billups was at a house on the 1300 block of Van Kirk. To come out, she did and surrendered to the highway patrol officers. She was taken into custody without incident. Oh, your big badass. I'm thinking she would have shot up the block. Okay, it says, according to police arrangements were um, being made for the baby to be released to the family from CHOP where he was in stable condition. Police said the prior warrants for the parents were nonviolent. It's sad. You see the point. You see she points the gun at the mother of the baby who was also a juvenile and fires. Luckily, she missed. A seven-month-old baby might not remember that, but that story is always going to be there, explained. Okay, um, Billups has since been charged with aggravated assault, violations of Uniform Firearms Act, and other related offenses. And there you have it. Right? So, let's get straight into the scriptures. Let's get the curse real quick. Okay, so this is Deuteronomy chapter 28. And we fit every single one of these curses. Again, like I said, you're not going to hear of no other nations doing shit on a, rank or on a regular daily day basis like how our people do. You might hear about something every now and then with, with, with these other nations. But we're talking about Jake just out here literally just blowing each other away, man. On a day-to-day -day basis. At the end of the week, it's, it's just a pile up of, uh, of deceased, man. Okay, so Deuteronomy 28, I'm going to get verse 1 first. Then I'm going to jump down to verse 15. Because it goes off into blessings for obedience, right? Verse 1, it says, It shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. That the Lord, Yahweh thy God, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So if we were to be obedient, when we was obedient, we did, we, we ran in this for, for, for a little while. You know, we was, we was running shit, man, on the planet for, for, for a little bit. It wasn't that long, though. No? Well, our people started to idol worship, get into um, I, um, spiritual idolatry, uh, adultery, you know, just started to just do all manner of wickedness. You know, Jake just got out of hand, man. Started doing all manner of shit, started trying to live like these other nations. And so this is what the Lord said about that. That team. Consequences of disobedience, right? It says, but it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh thy God. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded, command thee this day. Salakia. Yeah, Salakia for that. Let me start that back from the top. Um, it says, but it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh by God. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, right? So these are some of the curses. But let me jump to verse 46, right? And you can read through it, you know, just read through the chapter. It's 68 verses in that chapter and you'll see the blessings and you'll see the curses. And you'll clearly see that we are under these curses because our people are through, man. We're being conquered over by some weirdos. We're subject to payment, you know, we're just here, man, just 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 on this planet, just just doing bad, man. And it's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema side prophetically. And, you know, I mean, hey, Jake. <sighs> this is why we need salvation. This is what the good news is about, though. Luke chapter one, it tells you why the Lord is coming. He's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies. That the law, statutes and commandments during um, or with the new covenant, that's what the new covenant is about. That those law, statutes and commandments will be written on our minds and our hearts. So we don't be out here bugging out like this, man. We're going to love our brethren with full love, man. This is not love right here. If you see that video, you can pull it up. I'm sure you could, you know, if this, this bitch point blank range and you a horrible shot, too, because you ain't even hit. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the lady, you hit the damn baby. But that's hey, that was a spirit, man. And the Lord, you know, probably you use that, to, uh, uh, you know, throw her ass behind them bars and, 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 and give her the real punishment that she that she needs, man. Because a lot of people going to be going to be in a damn jail cell when the Lord uh, um, returns. And that's not going to. Hey, no, no. Matter of fact. A lot of them going to be in jail when the when the missiles come. That's my, my bad. Let me let me let me rephrase that. A lot of Jake, a lot of so-called blacks, Hispanics. It's going to be all nations, though, because, you know, America got a got a smorgasbord of people in prisons. But the majority is the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. And they're going to be in one of them damn cells cooking 
when them thermal um, um, nuclear missiles hit this place, man. But this is um, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So the, how we know who the children of Israel are, because these are signs. Now, let's get one of the signs as far as this young lady right here. Right. That, that, that hate, that real hate that we have for each other. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the, no, no let me, I could have got that one too, but let's get 56. The tender and delicate woman among you. That was a long time ago. The women are not tender no more and they're not delicate. That's a rarity these days. Which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. You know, there was a time when our women, man, they, you know, they, they were so delicate and tender, they wouldn't even put their feet on the ground. Ah, you know, little pebble. Here you go, this bitch out here in some Jordans, man, point blank shooting at people. Come on, bro. That's a long ways from what we used to be. Right? So these curses are, are, are clearly upon us. It says, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eye shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. Right. And that's just going off into your brothers a, a, in general. You, you, that would, you would think she would see that as her sister and that young, that, that, that baby as, you know, a young brother or, um, you know, a, a young nephew or, you know, you, you know, there was a time when, you know, hey, we, we, we really tenderly loved each other, man. Now it's like, God damn, bro. So you can't tell me we're not in the end of this thing, man. Right. So let's go to the New Testament. And this is one of the things that Yahweh spoke of that will be happening just before him coming. Matthew 24 and 12. Now, the disciples, they actually asked him what would be happening in the end days in verse three right here. So I get that. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And this is one of the things that he mentioned right here. Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. In the NLT, it says sin will be rampant everywhere and the love of many will grow cold. That's how you know that we don't have that much time, man. You can't tell me this is not a cold blooded act. And, and, and trust me, if you see the video, which I wish I could have played. But of course, again, you know, YouTube. But you can like I said, you can look it up. All you got to do is put in this chick's name. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Or Philadelphia, uh, seven month old baby being shot in Philadelphia. By a damn woman, man. Come on, bro. We're talking about by a, a nurturer. Supposedly be a nurturer, man. Our, our nurturing women have become um, 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 goddamn thugs, man. And brutes. Fucking goddamn animals, bro. You can't, you, you don't get no more animalistic than this, man. That's, that's, some, that's some animal shit right there. And, and these laws are so laxed in America. They, you know, shit, that. <laughs> No, even no telling, man. Anyway, let's get this one though. This one comes to mind as well. Second Timothy three and one. It says difficult times will come. The dangers of the last days. It says this know also verse one, second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, which is difficult times. Real bad, horrible times are about to come to this place, man. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. That, that, that was an act of, of, of no affection at all, man. No affection at all, man. I mean, I, I'm talking about I'm looking at the, the shit like it's disturbing. Like, for real, it's like, you know, it's sad, but we, we understand why we're going through it. That's the thing. See, coming into this truth, the Lord, he shows us why we're going through what we're going through. The average person, they just see something like that and they just don't get it. But we understand that those are spirits of vengeance that the Lord got out here. Because the scripture talks about how the Lord, he kills and he makes a lie. He wounds and he heals. See, so he wounded the baby. And if the baby, you know, come come back from it, he's going to be, um, um, you know, the one that heals, heals the baby. Well, that's a cold blooded act, man. It says without natural affection, truce breakers. False accusers, incontinent, fierce. And you got to be a pretty fierce person, man, to, to pull something like that. Despisers of those that are good, 
traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And I'm willing to bet you that chick could tell you she's a Christian. I'm willing to bet you. I'm willing to bet you she's a Christian. Even, even the one, one of the victims, man, with the $100 uh, 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 drug debt. <laughs> They'll tell you they're they Christians. I'm willing to bet you. They believe in um, sweet white baby Jesus, man. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to get this word for um, um, without natural affection. G790, no, Salakia. Uh, let me go back real quick here. G794 is our Astorgos without natural affection. Oh, it's a lot. What's going on here? Uh, no internet. What the hell happened to the internet that quick? I wanted to get that word. Um, without natural affection and um, truce breakers. I mean, um, no, no, um, fierce. The word fierce. Yeah, Salakia for that. Okay, Salaki so had to check the internet real quick, but let's get that word real quick. Without natural affection, G794, Astergos, root etymology, uh, let's see, as a negative particle and is presumed derivatively or derivative of Stergo, to cherish affectionately, to cherish affectionately. And that, you know, you, you know, the the main nurturers of our family line is the women are without affection man it, it's crazy man the shit that we send out of the women these days man and they say you could tell a nation by their women let's get this one um fierce real quick too as a negative particle um, savage not tame savage fierce and, and, and really, when you look at, I'm telling you, man, when, you, when I seen this video, she she looks, she appears to be a brute beast, untamed. Fierce is to be untamed, man, not tamed, savage. That's exactly what she looked like, man, when she was rolling up on that on that stroller like that, man. I'm like, God damn, bro. No affection whatsoever for a mother with a child, man. So I, I and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, if this, if she got kids. Psh, Mm. Anyway, because you can click. Come on, bro. You can see how close she is right here. Here's the stroller right here. She's literally inches from the stroller. The, the, the gun is pointed directly in this lady's face. I don't know how she missed her unless she was just, you know, I don't know how the hell you shoot the baby. But, yeah, they're going to they going to um, going to lock her savage ass down. And this is why Esau be looking at us like, you know, it, it's not it's not a problem. For Esau, eat them. When they pull your ass over, it's nothing for them to gun you down because they see you as an untamed animal, man. The women are, are I'm, man, look, the, the so-called black women these days, oh my goodness, man. It is, da it's dangerous being around them. To just be straight honest, <laughs> they've been doing some shit that the worst crimes now is pretty much by women, man. And maybe it's because, you know, you wouldn't expect for a woman to do what they be doing, but no, it's done got to a point where it's equal, man. The women are either on equal footing or has surpassed. Well, you know what that scripture that talks about the Lord would do um, a new thing in the earth. What's that? Uh, Salakia. I'm going to end out here. Yahweh about this. I don't want to keep it long. I just seen that like, hey, we got to report on these things because they show you how, how close we are to the Lord's coming. Oh, that's not the one. Um, uh, the Lord said he'll do a new thing in the earth where, where a woman will compass a man. And that's pretty much what, what's going on, man. Yeah, Jeremiah 31 and 22, Salakia. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man, even in crime. When you used to hear shit about shit like this, you know, um, you know, gunplay and stuff like that on the streets, that would mostly be men. This thing got to the point now where it's women doing this type of stuff, man. The most heinous crimes you really see in the news, it'd be from the, either the so-called white man or the so-called black woman. Straight up. Or at least from what I be seeing. 
and 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 and, and you know what? Let me see, cause uh, I, I went into it from Google. But let me see here, cause I seen it first in news break. So once you go off into news break, right here, we already into it. Let's let's check out some of the related stories. Let's see here. See, and they got these shorts on here now too. You can't even play none of this stuff, man, because it's so damn violent. It says teenage girl recorded video deleting a man, beating a man to deletion before turning camera around to take probably to take a damn selfie. Let's see. Yeah, to take selfies. See? These are these these are women, man, that's doing shit like this. Florida mom fatally shoots eight-year-old autistic son's dad for getting mad at the boy for having a bathroom accident. God, man. Anyway. A young lady that set up a guy to get his life taken shortly after her life was taken. See? A lot of shit going on. Well, look at uh, this. Well, no, I ain't going to even get into it. I don't even want to get into it. So lucky. I don't even know what the hell just happened. What happened? Anyway. Boyfriend from popular TikTok duo arrested for allegedly uh, shooting girlfriend in the face after he did that fight. Yeah, whatever. I don't even want to get into it. Anyway, man, I'm in out there. Hey, it's a, it, it, it's, it's, it's a, a, a smorgasbord of nothing but depression in, <laughs> in here, man. So I'm going to end out there, man. Hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Hey, you can't tell me that this is not um, flood behavior or, or, or nuclear fire behavior, man. It says it'd be like just like the days of Noah and like or, or like the days of um, Lot, man. It was all manner of wickedness going on, man. And, and people have lost it, man. It's no, it's really no, um, no, no morale there, man. It's no, it's no natural affection no more. If you see somebody start to argue, if you actually see voices start to raise, you might need to be getting on, you know, getting on about your business, man. If you out and about, you at a restaurant, you out in um, wherever, Walmart, I don't give a fuck where it's at, a gas station, and you start to hear voices being raised, you might need to be making it towards your vehicle and getting the hell on. Because there ain't no telling what can happen from there. Because things escalate so fast these days. And people are slow to anger. You know, the scriptures talks about being slow to anger. Had this woman been slow to anger and had kind of thought, you know, for a second, like, well, shit, God damn, you know. She didn't even think about what, you know, but that was a spirit of vengeance. The spirits of vengeance don't allow you to think. They just, they just consume the person and take over. And then once they get off of them, that's when they start to think like, well, what? And still they don't know, like, what, what happened? Well, why did I do that? What, what just happened? People be shut. They ask themselves that all the time. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? Or a person might, well, what was you thinking? I don't know. It just, some came over me. You hear people say stuff like that all, all the time. Those are spirits of vengeance. According to um, um, Ecclesiastes 39 and 28 on down. It speaks on those spirits of vengeance, man. Spirit of vengeance probably jumped on her ass and, and, and who knows, man, you know. A good lesson learned for everybody in the situation since no one actually, you know, died, so to speak. Because you better believe them, them parents got to be, you know, had to been shook. Your baby getting, you know, shot and shit because your ass into some illegal dope. Just just ridiculous, man. Yeah, we 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 in a bad state. We need our Lord. So repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. And with that, Kwam Yashallah.